you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, a video that I used to do quite a bit on this channel weekly, but I haven't done it in a while. And you guys usually show tremendous support in this video, so I'm kind of hyped to do it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. I need a haircut, obviously. That's got to get done soon, boys. That's that's first first and foremost to bring up. I'm, I'm kind of looking like a wildebeest. But off topic, more so back to what I was saying. Uh, the best players in each position that you guys need right now in Madden. I'm going to go one by one through positions, kind of go over what you guys need, what positions are really important at the moment, and what you guys can really wait on. Because certain positions, like quarterback, right? Quarterback, I feel like, is a position that you don't have to worry about right now. I know that sounds dumb, but I mean, like, I know there's something better coming out. We're, like, in quarterback limbo right now. I'll get all into that, but quarterback limbo pretty much like you either have a mobile quarterback that's an accurate or an accurate quarterback that's not mobile and you really don't want to invest in either one, but I think there's going to be the next level of quarterbacks coming soon where you get kind of a mix of both or whatever, but we'll go into all that in the video. Before we get into this video, boys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. We're grinding to 11k. We're almost there. Let's get to 20k, which is our next big milestone, boys. Come join the family. You won't regret it. Get in now while you still can. And also, if you guys haven't already, comment down below what you guys think are the best players in this game. Like, what are the best players you need? Like, and it's not overall based. Trust me, I've proven time and time again in this channel that overall means jack. You know the next part. It doesn't mean anything. I've compared cards with lower overalls by a ton, and they still are better than that card. So who do you think are the best players? Right now? Like, best bang for your buck? Who you can really get that's a top tier player? You know, it doesn't have to be the highest overall, but... And also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get the video to 250 likes. You guys have been killing the like button lately. All the loyal fans and supporters. Best way to show support, show support. Go down below and like the video. I appreciate every last one of you that liked the video. But let's start off with quarterback. So at quarterback right now, who's the quarterback you need? Like I said, we're in quarterback limbo, but if I had to pick one, I think it's pretty clear cut to me right now. There's actually this two guys. So I was thinking about it, right? I love Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, probably my quarterback pick by far. My Lamar Jackson, but his, his, his throwing is really getting to me. And since they nerfed, they kind of nerfed running quarterbacks a little bit, so it feels. So I honestly think Steve Young might still be the move. Like, obviously, Lamar Jackson is the quarterback I rock with. But right now, accuracy, like, throwing is a bit more important than it was in a few weeks ago with the way they nerfed running a little bit and stuff. And Lamar Jackson cannot be cons a consistent thrower all game. Steve Young can still get escape artist and can still and still passes if you power and chem him up. So in my opinion, Steve Young's definitely up there for one of the best options. I think he's right there with Lamar. Because I think roaming data is such an important thing to have. One of those things where you can throw on the run perfectly out of the pocket. It's just, be either one. Lamar or Steve Young, I think, are interchangeable as the guys you want right now. Although I wouldn't invest heavily in a quarterback because I do feel like we will be getting some brand new level of quarterback in the near future. Halfback, come on, guys. Half, you guys already know where I'm going with halfback. Halfback is Saquads Barkley. He is the best running back in Madden. There's no debate. And I don't know why he's not showing up. I'm just going to compare him to mine. Saquon Barkley, uh, he's amazing. Guys, I'm not kidding. That broken tackle stat, that break tackle stat is so key. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's like in real life when he gets, he, he's like a pinball in the backfield. I've broken so many runs, not because I read the whole good, not nothing. He literally just, he could break off three tackles. Like, there's some plays where I'm like, I'm, I'm genuinely don't think he's going to go down. Like, every tackle, he just keeps breaking. And I even have John Madden rushing on him now. So, his, his break tackle, I think, is all together like a 95 for me. His agility is like a 95. Everything's a bit higher on my team. Obviously, off the team, you don't see everything. Because he's not in the lineup of all the cast, the, the passing, the rushing, and all the chems and stuff. But trust me, this guy's a monster. Saquon Barkley, you can't go wrong with him. Definitely the best guy in his position right now. And if there's another running back coming in the near future, remember, you can always put him as a two, which is why I have no problem upgrading running back. At fullback, guys, this Okoye, no one, everyone's sleeping on this Okoye. Everyone's like, who cares about fullbacks? Guys. Let me just get, let me tell you this. Schlesinger right here is a beast, right? He scored kick return touchdowns for me on scum kicks. Remember, this year is the year of the scum kick. Fullbacks have never been more important. Fullbacks are pretty much glorified kick returners this year. I'm not even kidding. So a kick returner with 88 speed is a top tier kick returner. Not to mention, the best thing you could do to be glitchy Madden is put a, uh, a running back a kick return, right? But the issue with doing that is that if you put a running back a kick returner, they're, they're, they have no stamina, they're tired for the actual play, and a lot of other things. Okoye has 88 speed. He's gonna have like 90 trucking, lead block and everything. He's gonna be a monster kick returner. And then if they actually kick return it to like Deion Sanders or Tyreek Hill, whatever you got, Christian Okoye could lead block. And that's the issue with Schlesinger. When he lead blocks, his speed, he gets outrun by my kick returner every time. It's so frustrating if I don't run him ahead of, ahead of time. And it always screws me up. So Okoye, stud lead blocker, pancake blocker, kick returner. He can do it all. I think he's a little too expensive for my liking right now. But still, I don't really mind him. 
At wide receiver, Tyler Lockett's definitely someone you need to pick up. I'm not going to give you guys three of them. I'm just going to give you guys one that I would recommend adding to your arsenal if you don't have them. Tyler Lockett right here. At first, I wasn't too high on him, but if you compare him, right? Let's compare him to, like, Torrey Holt. Similar speed, worse jumping, better catching, catching traffic, and spec catch. The route running's a little off, but the deep route running's a little better. It makes up for it. Now, where this card really excels, where I was looking, was the after-the-catch stats. He has a 95 kick return, first off. So, he could be a kick returner. He's a stud kick returner. He's got 90 bit of looseness. 93 ball carrier vision 86 spin move 94 juke move this guy is a running back with the ball in his hands trust me you get the right stats in this card the right counts and everything he's going to be an explosive kick returner not because no kick returner has that kind of juke and spin really with those catching stats like he's he's, he's a dual threat you can do multiple things this card's a beast guys i highly recommend you can give this card some consideration at tight end I'm still a fan of my, my basic tight end, George Kittle, but I don't use that George Kittle because I'm going to wait for his redux for the time being. I still think this 90 powered up George Kittle is still a monster. 83 speed, 90 catching, 84 spec catch, decent route running, and good run blocking. This card can do it all. He's the perfect complement to my team. He can run block. I need him to run block. And then the times that he's not run blocking, that's fine because then he can, he can make catches. And the way I run my scheme, my tight end gets open a lot. So I don't really need them to be crazy good catchers. I just need to have some speed and some run blocking. He's got exactly that. And because of his 90 catching and his decent spec catch and stuff, he can still make some pretty good catch plays for me. I have no problem running George Kittle out for the time being. Let's go on over to the lineman. I'm going to go over pretty quickly because lineman, you know, there's nothing, there's not much to him. Real quick, lineman is, I'm, I'm just going to do a little speed round of them. Lineman is left tackle Munoz. Munoz gets his threshold. He gets the job that he's not too expensive. Left guard, still Bruce Matthews, still a beastly left guard. He's kind of expensive. Wait for Legend Saturday, obviously. Center. I'm waiting to see if most fear drops another uh, drops a center in general and if not kevin mawai is still a beast but they're kind of overpriced right now david de castro at right guard guys you can't go wrong he's a guy that could be on my team for another month and a half he has all threshold stats trust me you can't go wrong with david de castro just kept him up and you got a beast and at right tackle right tackle somewhere that i have to actually upgrade i'm kind of waiting to see if most fear drops anything for the time being right tackle is kind of weird i'm rocking with jason peters right now not jason peters elaine johnson I wouldn't really recommend you guys going on left tackle. I'm going to leave right tackle out of this for now. I don't really like any of the right tackles right now at the price point. I recommend you guys just wait and see. Let's see how the seasonal performer ended up turning out. Oh, pretty good, actually. Okay. Probably would have been a good investment at the time. But, yep. Yeah. Uh, right tackle, I'm going to leave out for this video. There's really no overpowered right tackle you really need that's, like, price point valuable. Um, let's see. Left end. Guys, honestly, I think Cam Jordan... I, at first, I wasn't really in on Cam Jordan. Obviously, Reggie White's still up there. And if you go over to 92s, there's still some other options. But Cam Jordan's pretty, pretty, pretty beastly. Not going to lie. See, I didn't think so until I got him for free. And then Cam Jordan was kind of a monster. Let me show you what he looks like powered up. Either Cam Jordan or Reggie White, they're kind of interchangeable. I obviously have Jordan for free. Cam Jordan has a 75 speed, 82 excel. Decent athleticism. 88 strength, 86 tackle, 94 play rec, 91 power move, 87 block shed. You chem him up and you power him up with like some like pass rushing. He will have all the thresholds. He's going to be fast. He's going to be really good. And he's pretty cheap. And if you don't want him again, Reggie White, probably the more athletic option. Slightly more athletic, plus one excel. Uh, Reggie White's probably the better option. Slightly, but he also is more expensive. So it comes down to how many coins you have. Either of those are interchangeable. I'm not really a fan of the rest. At right end, let's see what we're rocking with. I mean, I guys, right end. I wouldn't recommend you buy any of these. I still recommend you go power up Aaron Donald and you just chill on him at a 90 overall for now. At a 90 overall, he's got 75 speed, 82 excel, 90 strength, 83 uh, tackle, 90 play rec, 89 block shed, 91 power. Move. So he's going to hit all thresholds just about if you chem him up properly with decent athleticism. And then come series three, you can get his redux limited time card, which again will make up for the lack of current red end woes in the game right now. In my opinion, defensive tackle. I really don't like many defensive tackles. Obviously, John Henderson's a monster. See, in my opinion, you can either put an N there or you can put John Henderson. John Henderson's just going to be very, very expensive at the moment. He's obviously the best by far. This guy's a monster. They finally did it right with a defensive tackle. He has above 90 block shedding. He's going to have above 90 uh, power move block shedding. I mean, pass rushing. Above 90 tackle. Above 90 play rec. Above 90 strength if you power him up. This card's a monster. Obviously, recommend John Henderson, but his price point's too high. If not, I put a guy like Demarcus Lawrence there with some abilities, and he does very well for me. For personally, that's just my opinion, obviously. Next, the list we're gonna go over to left outside linebackers. Left outside linebackers. See, I don't really, I don't really like any right now. So the way I run my defense, I run a uh, three-four, and I run Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor. But the way the three-four works is that Von, Lawrence Taylor rushes and Von Miller is always in zone. So I kind of don't really want a pass rushing outside linebacker on the left side anymore. I kind of want a zone guy. 
but there's no good zone guys there yet. So I'm kind of waiting for a good zone guy to drop for the time being. I'm going to rock with my Von Miller. If you guys have Von Miller, I recommend you just hold on to him. There's really not many better options for the price of free that you guys probably got him for. So I'd recommend you hold on to Von Miller for the time being. And if you're going to go my route, wait for a zone guy to come out. Because I never really, I never rush both of them. I only rush Lawrence Taylor. So it's kind of like a liability having Von Miller out there. Middle linebacker, guys. It's pretty obvious. A guy that you, the two guys you need. There's three, actually. You want Devin White coming in at number three. Shazier at two and Ray Lewis at one. Ray Lewis is insane. Look at this. I, have, I just powered him up with everything. He's at 88 speed, 88 excel, 88 strength. Crazy athleticism. 93 tackle, 93 player, 90 block shit, 93 power move. Well, hit power. Ray Lewis. I like to have one middle linebacker that plays the uh, plays the, the front seven and one linebacker that I use it that plays the, the secondary. I leave Ray Lewis on the right side. He stuffs the runs. He gets over the top. He blows up blocks. And the beauty is when there's a, there's a crosser over the middle and Ray Lewis, I literally can double back with him every time and hit stick him. They drop the ball, they fumble, he's forcing fumbles. He's a monster. You don't really have to use him. You could just leave him be in his zone. He's not going to be a good zone guy. Don't get me wrong. But that's why I leave him on the side. I leave him in a spot where he's pretty much just like a run kind of guy, run stuffer kind of guy. I don't leave him out there to go play a deep, a deep third or something. You know what I'm saying? I, that's what I use the Shazier for. I keep Ray Lewis up front, right down a mid read. I don't really care for his zone. You can let him be. He's going to be his own little island doing what he's got to do. He's going to be a monster. And then obviously Shazier is your user guy. You guys should know about Shazier. Right? I don't got to really go over him too much. Next on the list, we got right outside linebacker, guys. This one's pretty obvious. Come on. Right outside linebacker, Lawrence Taylor, still to this day. You could probably get him for a better job price on Legend Saturday. I don't really got to show him to you. You guys have probably seen the stats already, but I will anyways. Right outside linebacker, 91 overall, powered up Lawrence Taylor. Above 90, pass rushing. Uh, block shed still really good, although it could be a little bit better, but he's going to get another card. And you could also uh, chem him up and scheme him. He's got... Crazy athleticism, great tackling, great strength, great, great everything. You don't really have to talk about this card too much. Let's get over to the secondary. Secondary is getting get, getting kind of interesting now because they dropped a lot of new cards. So let's get over to Pat Pete because he's gonna be on the list here. So we got Pat Pete as the guy you're gonna need. Pretty much the guys I have right have Pat Pete, Jalen Ramsey, and I love Deion Sanders. Willie Brown is still on the list, but I feel like there's better options now than Willie Brown. First off, Pat Pete powered up and chemed up. He's gonna have above 90 athleticism all across the board. Above, well above. He's gonna have a 90 play rec, chemmed up. He's gonna have above 90 man, above 90 zone, above 90 press. He is Willie Brown with more athleticism. And it's not even close. It's not. The jumping, the agility, this card's crazy. This card's going to be a stud. I need to pick him up. And then Jalen Ramsey's the, I, I like to have a mix of athleticism and physicality. So Patrick Peterson's gonna be that more athletic, like crazy play cornerback. And then Jalen Ramsey's gonna be that lock up, clamp, like I'll snuff you in the face kind of cornerback. I have both of them. Ramsey's a beast. You need Ramsey and Pat Pete. Those are, those are two you need. And then as the third guy, you can either go Willie Brown or Deion Sanders in the slot. Deion Sanders is great powered up, but obviously that's up to you guys on what you guys feel is the move for that. Uh, free safety. I don't know why people are talking about anyone else other than this Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins is still far and away the best free safety. Let's show you guys what he looks like powered up compared to other safety. For 200 something K, still very cheap. I got him for like 205. He's at 88 speed, 86 excel, 85 tackle. Great athleticism for a free safety. 90 play rec, thresh, threshold. 89 pursuit with Cam's threshold. 90 zone, threshold. 92 hit power. And what else do I got to say? He can do everything. He's an all around safety. He's tall. No issues there. Now, strong safety. You got to just get your Pat Tillman up. That's the best. But I don't, I don't like any of the strong safeties in this game besides Jamal Adams. You can get Jamal Adams, but in my opinion, if you, if you don't, if you don't want to spend money on Jamal Adams, get your Pat Tillman up. Look at this guy's a monster on my team with all my chems and everything. He's got like 99 stats, 98 stats guys. That's about it for the video though. I don't really got to talk about Pat Tillman. You guys should already know, get your Pat Tillman done as soon as possible. That is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.